Hi, this is Jan from Log Cabin Leather, and as usual, things are not going the way I planned. This is not the camera I expected to record on, although the picture actually is a little bit better here. Um, it's not one, it's on my laptop, so I can't move it to show you and angle it to show you what I wanted to. But in any event, this is Jan Hibbard from Log Cabin Leather by Jan. This is an uh, episode of my workshop Wednesday, which I have not done for quite a while. Again, Spent a lot of time last few months at Mass General Hospital with my husband thing. And again, things at home here are just not going the way I was hoping they would, even though we're home, um, a lot of appointments and things like that. And they call and, and change the times. And if you know anything about me, the products I'm making today is about all blooms and butterflies. This is a little bit new. Um, in the past, I've made a lot of butterfly earrings and so forth and bar rats, but now I'm trying to take a little bit more of a different avenue, and this is more in the home decor line. I've done some tote bags, but really more in the line of home decor, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today, and how I actually make the butterflies and the, now these kind of three-dimensional, realistic-looking flowers. So I'm starting with some orchids and some hibiscus and how I'm making them, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Like I said, I can't really get you over to my workshop table now because I can't move this or anything and show you what I'm doing. So if you know anything about me, first of all, I have to draw the patterns for all my items. Once I have them drawn and figured them out, and I have a hot ton under this table where I am right now, um, I have a machine that will cut them out. So again, same butterfly here, same butterfly here, just in different sizes. I make them as tiny as you know, again, so the butterflies are going to be for earrings. And then I have to paint them and so forth. Today, what I'm going to talk about a little bit more, this is some of the butterflies I'm going to use for these birds and bloom items. You know, this is, again, same piece of leather. Leather is very soft. It's a thinner piece of leather. It's a two, three ounce piece of leather. So it's about the thinnest you can really buy or that I buy um, to cut these out. But now that I've put finish on them. And again, I'm going to talk about how I do this. It's pretty hard and stiff. I mean, it's hot. It doesn't bend. These pieces are stiff on the end. So it's not going to break. It's very durable. So this is a piece I'm in the middle of doing. So it is still on the soft side. It hasn't dried and things like that. I'm going to talk to you about that. And a little bit more of what how I've decided now that you've noticed that isn't painted yet. I'm finding that if I mold them a little bit before I paint them, it's a little bit harder to paint them because, of course, then they have the nooks and the crannies and, and it's harder to get in places. But at the same time, when it's done, it's coming out even harder and firmer, which is what I was going for. So these are just some of the butterflies. And butterflies are something I've been working on for a while. Um, again, molding and making them hard like that is a little bit different than what I've done in the past. I mean, I've, I've done that, but maybe not to the degree I'm doing it now. I've, again, I'm going to give you a secret on how I'm doing it now that's different. Um, also, though, I've been working on things like the orchids. So these are 3D, like real orchids on the plant, which is also 3D. The first one I did, <laughs> so I can't even find it. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see. It's in a frame. And it has this, it has an orchid. And I move it now. It has an orchid in the frame. So this is going to be in a frame. I have some different frames. I had a square frame. No. That's when I have some square frames like this. And I'm just going to remove what's inside there and put them in frames like that. I also have some frames. Oh, here it is here. So this is the first one I did. And see, it's got the 3D orchids. They look like real orchids. You've got the butterfly in the middle in the frame. So then I tried to buy some other frames. These I had bought years ago and had for a long time and didn't really do anything with them. I found these, and I kind of like this kind of what I'm calling the shadow box idea. The frame sticks out. The picture is 3D. It does kind of stick out of the frame. I think you can see that. And so on that idea. The orchids and the butterflies are really inspired from my, by my sister. My sister has some real orchids at, home, at her house. And I was staying there because she lives 
close to Boston when my husband was in the hospital. I was checking them out, so they've inspired me. These are the frames I just recently bought, and I think these are kind of cool because they have the little shadow boxes. I can hold some of them this way, but I can also hold them that way. Um, what I've done with these is I've darkened the frame even darker than what I have here because it's something I had in the house. And so I've darkened the edges of the frames on those. So that's what I'm going to use. And then, again, these flowers and things. And this is a hibiscus now. It's going to go in the frame like a real flower. And then they'll have, you know, butterflies and things in there as well. The butterflies and they were nailed to the the box itself and so forth, so they won't be permanent. The flowers when I'm making them will be like this. They are again the flowers are actually sewn onto the stem, so it's separate pieces. The flower is three different pieces. The stem is one piece with the leaves on it. The flower is another piece, and then the center of the flower is a third piece, so it has to be attached, so it will look like a real flower. But so now to mold the flowers and get them to stay in that shape like that, I'm kind of making it into a cup. So here's a paper version that I just haven't had. And I needed to mold it up and kind of make the cone piece in the middle. So how I did that, and this is what I've, this is my new step that I've discovered in the past. After I had painted them and they were finished, then I would kind of mold them with my hands in, or I put some finish on them and that would kind of soften them while, while it was wet and I would mold them and then when they dried it would stay in that shape. But what I'm finding now, if I mold them when they're wet with just water, so this is just a dish of water, sometimes I'm just dipping them right in there for a second, getting them wet. You can see the color of the bat, it changes color. And then when I mold it, when it's like this, and what I was doing to make them, I was going to make them so they would almost stand up. So when they go in the frames, I'm chipping over my floor. So I'm, I'm kind of putting the pencil, the paintbrush, in between to kind of flatten the body of, see, so now that would actually look like a butterfly that had its wings closed up. I don't want to close it up quite that much because the back of it does not have design on it and the, you know it may not paint all that but i can curve the wings mold the wings and now if i let that dry even before i paint it it's going to have a good start on on folding and warming to that shape and it will stand up on the table which is kind of what what you can't see but the, it's actually standing up on the body part of the butterfly so it is and then they'll be ready to paint. So that's what how I do the flowers too. The flowers again are molded like that, painted, um, the stamen or whatever you call them, the center of the flower, long time since I studied plants, um, is sewn onto the flower itself, and the flower is then sewn onto the stem. And the stems and things in these frames will be like nailed into the frame, not just glued. Um, butterfly, same thing. So that is some of the things I'm working on. Again, I have the hibiscuses I've done. And I'm looking at pictures of real. Like this, you know, I'm basing this on real flowers like I do. I did the, oops, the orange and yellow one is here. That one. I did the orange and yellow one. And I did the pink and the, and the reddish with the white edges and the yellow in the middle. So I did those two. And then again, the orchids. Orchids have so many different beautiful shapes and things. So again, I start with researching the flowers and looking them up and then going for the colors. I love the blue orchid, but again, my sister said those are not really, I don't know how real, common those are that people don't see that this red one I thought was kind of a fun shape but again I'm going with different orchids some of the orchids are done in a couple pieces so this is the one this shape orchid is actually what I'm using for the ones that I just showed a minute ago this is what the piece looks like before it's molded and so forth this leather is a little bit too thick 
this was, I think, four or five ounce leather. And so I cut it out, but it is really too thick to form the way I want it to. So the thinner leather is actually working better. And then with the finish, it is coming out and being just as stiff, if not stiffer than this is. So that is exactly the what I'm trying to obtain. So again, these are all looking, these are all real butterflies. Um, of course, the monarch. <laughs> They're all different. This is a um, Ulysses butterfly. This is a um, sunset, will be a sunset moth based on, I have the real one over there. Um, they're all based on real butterflies that I look up online. I research them. I am going to try to have a little paper that says what the butterflies are that will go with something when you purchase it with a butterfly on, you know, or if it has a couple of the butterflies, what they are. So lots of stuff I'm working on right now. I'm having a lot of fun painting and molding. I mean, I really love the painting. Painting and molding the butterflies and the flowers and looking up the different patterns and things like that. I've also done some other flowers and things too, but they're not as, as 3D. Not quite as 3D. These are more carved than they are. The 3D, like I've done the hibiscus and the... Orchids. So that's that's where I'm at now. If you have any questions, if there's other things you'd like to see or have questions about what, how I make things, um, please feel free to check out my Facebook page. My uh, you know and like my videos. Comments really help a, a person to grow. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website. Right now, I'm having glitches with that. I tried to do something with the landing page and I screwed things up and now I can't even get to my website anymore. So hopefully I thought I got a change back last night, but sometimes the changes take time to take place. So hopefully my website will be up and going so I can list these things on it because they're not listed yet or anything. And um, my website is logcabinleatherbyjan.com. So I'd love to know if you have, can access it. Maybe it's just from my end I can't. Um, let me know if you can see some of the new things I've made. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think that's going to wrap it up for now. I will try to be more consistent and get these videos out on Wednesdays, but I cannot 100% guarantee that at this point. So but I'm going to just keep plugging away as best I can. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.